guys, it's me, Karma. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing a video by Melanie Mack. Um, I'm going to be going in deep on it. Um, it's a pretty brutal video, and it's coming from a person who has a lot of, like, um, their beliefs aren't the kindest to people like me, trans, LGBTQ. Um, I'd highly suggest that if you're used to a bubbly Karma and my bubbly content that's usually pretty happy, to walk away from this video. Especially if you're a child. I really don't like to influence children, so I'd really like you to walk away from this video. Um, for all those who did or remain, like, I just want you to know that I will be going in on this video and kind of dissecting it. I really don't believe in dissing on people's beliefs. Even if their beliefs upset me or if their beliefs that they hate me, um, people are entitled to those. I feel like, um, I don't think it's, I, I, I won't be going in on them today. Um, I will, might be dissecting some things, but, uh, just remember that this is coming from a person who's, like, grew up in Missouri. And, um, I'm not a debater, a master class. Or anything like that. This is just coming from your average Joe. So, um, if you're expecting me to, like, shame religion or to shame, like, all these things, just know that I'm just going in this from somebody brand new to, like, this whole kind of thing. Like, seeing this kind of, like, prop of, uh, whatever this is. Alright, we'll go on to the video. The uglification of female video game characters continues to circulate all kinds of discourse on social media, not only video game characters, but with movies and entertainment in general, so on and so forth. I've, as we've seen discussed uh, that I've brought up in a recent video about Red Sonja. But anyway, things have, uh, yeah, people are talking about Mary Jane again. And of course, uh, it's the alphabet community that are once alphabet again community. trying to get convince people that the new Mary Jane in Spider-Man 2 is attractive which we all know is not the case, which further opened up the discussion uh, for a lot of- Um, is she attractive? Um, she looks okay, I guess. Like, I don't know, like, she looks kind of pretty, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if she's the best. Like, I, I like men and women, and I mean, like, I don't know, she's not my type. Like, I like, I like, I like very plump girls. <laughs> I mean, um, but we'll, we'll carry on. Of us, and for myself, that I wanted to. I mean, I don't think she's bad looking. To 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 be clear, okay? I think she's fine. Open the floor with is the fact that uh, demonizing the male gaze in favor for the trans gaze. Now, people want to deny that that all oh, the uglification of female characters has nothing to do with transgender ideology. Wait, but that is uglify uglifying this person to make trans more attractive. What? Wait. Huh? Wait. Wait, what? To make me look more attractive? Um... It's not the case. I had some transgender influencers, if you will, uh, transgender quote tweet influencers? me on this or screenshot me on this and try to say, oh no, that's not the case. It has nothing to do with transgender ideology. This is all this just person? about jealous women who don't want other pretty women in games. I do think that that definitely also plays a role, but let's not pretend whenever we see these characters who are uh, more and- I feel like, yeah, that's, that's the thing I would jump to first right away. Like, I feel like Okay, wait, wait, I feel like, okay, so, I feel like the uglification of, like, girls in video games is more about, like, making girls feel more special, right? Because, like, um, because, like, if you go online and you look up, like, all the girls in video games, you get, you get stuff like, like, you, you, you get stuff like this. Like, like this one. Or this one. Or, you know this one yeah i feel i feel like wait why is she bringing up transgenders what bro this is unrealistic of any girl what bro how do you this is like super unrealistic of any girl what what are you talking about bro most girls don't look like this bro i feel like this is an unreal expectation set by like video game developers because they want their characters to look nice which is fine. I mean, I like hot main characters. I think it's awesome. It's still unreal. Like, I don't think you should expect every girl to look like this. I, I would say most girls do not look like this, okay? Super petite waist, really large bust. Yeah, I feel like this is unreal. I mean, I'm good with video game girlfriends, okay? Like, hey, dude, I like video game girls as much as anybody else. 
it's still like super unreal to expect this stuff out of like real girls i don't know that's just my opinion why should we end up transgenders again wait what why does this have to draw all right, all right for those who don't know melanie Ma melanie mac has a history of bringing up transgenders in these situations to like basically farm content and like i don't know how anybody falls for this bro how do you fall for this dude like how do how do you fall for like she's obviously farming content here like bro she, it's just clickbait it's just clickbait right ugly yeah it's just clickbait right let me see It's just clickbait. Yeah, her videos are all clickbait, bro. Look at this. Oh my god. Bro. <laughs> Look at this, bro. Dude, it's all clickbait, bro. This can't be real. People watch this? 67k? Bro, what? Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's... Let's keep watching. Genus and appearance that this has nothing to do with transgender ideology, which I will dive more into this as I uh, progress in the video. But let's just for contest to context start with what we have here. Of course, somebody somebody with a trans flag in their profile okay. and by their name says gamers are really effing goofy because she, like she's pretty in all of these pictures. Really, dude. Really, really. Who are you fooling? Obviously, I mean, to be fair, I don't think she's that bad. I think I think she looks fine, to be fair. Like, for an average girl, like, is, is she a 10? No, I think she's more like an 8, I guess. Like, I mean, maybe scores on girls are a bad thing. I don't know how people feel about that. Guys, listen, I'm not the most woke person, okay? Please don't expect me to be some woke expert or anything, okay? I'll probably get myself cancelled in, in an hour, okay? And I'm pretty, I'm not the smartest cookie in the cookie jar, but I don't think she looks, I don't know, bro. She looks like, she looks like a decent girl, bro. I think. This is somebody who is either identifying as transgender, which looks to be the case, or, um. So wait, is that, is that the way we decredit somebody now if they're transgender? Is that how you hurt somebody's credibility? Like, you just say they're transgender? Okay. Well, that's gonna look bad from this video. An ally, but I would say they identify as that because it looks like now they're posting uh, pills in with a date on it, which was just March 4th. So looks like very newly uh, started taking medication. I would say that's reasonable. So uh, that like, I'm gonna guess estrogen. I don't know this person's actual gender because all I see is a furry profile picture. But uh, yeah, they're they're wrecking their body and ruining their body with uh, artificial hormones that they're wrecking their body and hurting their body. Their body does not naturally produce. So why would she say that? Wait, she's talked more about this profile, Aurora. She talked more about this person than the pictures. Wait, is she more? Wait, is she have said that this person posted on Twitter. Bro, wait, she just upset that a transgender posted about it? Wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 I have, the hormones are wrecking her body? Wait, wait a second. Are homo- Did hormones wreck my body? One second. Oh no! I feel like I look pretty good. I don't know, that's sus, bro. Wait, are you saying hormones wrecked her body? Is going to? <laughs> wait. What? Does she know what hormones do? Wait, carry on. Uh, that is the case. She's talked more about transgenders than the 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 pictures. Wait, why why are we talking about the pi why are we talking about transgenders, bro? We're talking about the uglification of women. What are you doing? Wait, bro, don't tell me. Wait, wait a second. Wait, is this just clickbait? No, not Melanie Mac, bro. Just another clickbait title. Oh, oh man. If only I saw this coming before I clicked on the video. <laughs> Wait, dissing on trans again for content? Wait, Melanie Mac, low-hanging fruit? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, wild. Interesting. Let's carry on. Here, anyway, so they're trying to push this. Of course, of course. Um, But yeah. We all know Mary Jane has been uglified, less feminized, and I just... Do yeah. people really fall for this? Like, they think this character was uglified because of transgenders? 76k views? 8k likes? Oh my god. <laughs> people are falling for this? 
Yo, I mean, guys, I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro. Uglifying characters, so girls or trans girls, feel better. I don't know, like, it doesn't seem like the best thing to me. Um, I don't really know how to approach that subject. But, like, why is it why is it rotating around transgenders? I think it's just because Melanie Max covering it. They think characters are getting uglier because, like, transgenders are involved now? That's so in wild. What? Bro, huh? Dude, you're kidding me, bro. How? How do you think this? Wait, what? Bro, no, no, no. Dude, they're not selling the game to mostly transgenders, okay? They're selling the game to mostly men and women. Transgenders are a very small part of that market. Why, why are we being involved in this video, bro? This is so odd. I feel like, is she just bringing this up because this person retweeted it? She just wanted to bring transgenders in this some way for clickbait? Bro, what a sellout, bro. Dude, what a- Oh my god, bro. Where's your beliefs, bro? Where's your character? Oh pretty, my god, garbage. <laughs> so then, I followed up with this to kind of get more in-depth about things. I said it's all about validating dudes and dresses, creating a false reality that women look- All about validating dudes and dresses is simply men being attracted, you know, totally- normal function of god's design i don't really like to diss on people's beliefs if she thinks this is god's design then i think that's totally her right to think that by the way um i do want to like still go into the core subject of like this being because of transgenders i don't think that's the case at all um it's pretty hard to say that um for the record i think she's hot um i'm somebody who like um, i like men and women and i mean like Again, like, I feel like if she's being changed to look more realistic, more like a normal girl, I feel like it's because not every girl's a model, guys. Not every girl's gonna be super pretty. Um, not every girl's gonna look like Melanie Mack here, who's gorgeous, okay? I mean, like, she's super pretty. Not every girl's gonna look like that, though. In real life, um, people who work 9 to 5 jobs, 60 hours a week, I mean, I've worked a lot of jobs, 70 hours a week, plus, close many restaurants, work those 18-hour shifts. So I know that most people in real life don't look like this after working a 14-hour um, shift. But that's just me. Or sorry, yeah, uh, let, let's keep going. Look like them. Male gaze is simply men being attracted to women. You know, that totally normal function of God's design. So here, um, I just picked two different pictures of Mary Jane. Here I- Just two different pictures. I'm sure she just like Googled Mary Jane and looked at images, right? I'm sure it'd be like one of the first images, right? She wouldn't need to go too deep in there. Oh, this is the one right here. Okay. I guess it was one of the first ones. All right, back to the video. I had her you know, the run of the comics is irrelevant if they're good or not. This is just the one that, that she looks really pretty in um, and is clearly intended to be conventionally beautiful toward uh, what they would call the male gaze. Now, I'm so oh, sick because yeah, sex sells tired of the demonization of the male gaze because men being attracted to women is a part of God's design and they want to demonize that meanwhile i still like wait where's the where's it coming from about transgenders again like wait what why is she still making this about transgenders bro she's so hyper focused bro did trans just live in this girl's mind rent free or something entering to the trans gaze as you can see here and people can deny it all they oh no it's just about making her uglier because of insecure women it's not about trying to appease transgender people it's both okay let's be real it's both and i think that uh why I is it both why do you think it's both that's so weird like i'm sorry i'm gonna get some water guys she said it's both she, she said she has facts right where are the facts at? Ugh, she said she had some facts to back it As up. As you can see demonstrated, they didn't make somebody who blatantly looks like a woman who just is ugly. They masculinized her. They gave her body a lot more of an androgynous um, build. Her clothes are not showing her shape. So this is very much... Her clothes aren't showing her shape? So what, you're, you're mad at her for being more, cons like, conservative with her body? Um, 
just because she's like wearing a baggy shirt like you could tell there's more waist there like i feel like i can see a slender build there obviously she has like a more curve here what well, what are we talking about bro are we talking about her jawline isn't like beautiful jawlines like in like all models i mean it's not my thing i don't like broad jaws but like like this girl she's got a broad jaw uh this girl does too um this girl uh this one i don't know i, I might have just clicked that one this one there's a lot of girls with broad jaws what are we talking about bro what dude this girl looks this girl looks almost just like her <laughs> what are you talking about bro oh my god bro what this is hurting my head bro all right whatever an attempt to defeminize her okay defeminize her or make her more realistic okay whatever okay. notice like the lack of feminine features i mean makeup. by the oh. way i do agree with melanie mac that like obviously um uh like this is a thing like obviously they are pushing something here i think they are pushing to make women look more conservative because or more realistic because like obviously girls are in a bad place right now of society with like uh, only friends models and instagram models and all these other like anime characters game characters being like super outrageously hot like look at fortnite for instance and all these like um girls are looking at that and they think they're supposed to look like that and it's a pretty terrifying thing for a girl to have to look at their own body in in shame because of like the things that are in front of them i don't know how to solve this problem it kind of it would suck if the way to solve this problem was to change all the girl main characters to look more like i don't know realistic um that would suck for sure um i don't think that's i don't think that's the right way to go about things um surely there's other ways i don't know that's my two cents on that part i guess all that i mean mary jane is somebody who wears makeup who has very feminine appearance and in this case uh, you just there that, that blurs the line between woman and uh, a man it really does and this is what the i firmly believe that this whole queer gaze this trans gaze is a thing and i'll have more stuff to back that up momentarily more stuff to back it up momentarily now people it, it, it's not even about like the body here is it's not androgynous because oh she's she doesn't have as big of a, a boobs which mind you if she was built a certain way and you're going to continue her, you should continue that build. But, but how I'm do you know she, her boobs aren't bigger? Because, like, this looks like empty space down here, but it looks tighter up here. Um, I mean, you even see demonstrated in anime, right. where anime creates, a, honestly, a bunch of different varying body types with anime girls. Really? We're going to compare girls to anime? old characters female characters and women um some of them do have more petite body types not all of them have the gigantic boobs and all what yeah it's still unrealistic all that but they still read as very feminine and wait <laughs> okay wait wait it doesn't because they're petite doesn't mean they're realistic or read as feminine okay um to look feminine like to be petite girls uh look at these anime girls that this person's talking about melanie should they look at this girls and then they start throwing up their food and barfing every day because they feel like they have to be just as skinny as those girls like this is for girls i feel like again why is this about transgenders this, this is so odd to me what as as women right it's because um the overall body frame the overall um okay but what about your body you don't seem to have very big stuff going on there and i mean i'm not i i think melanie's very pretty by the way okay sorry don't want to appear like i'm body shaming i think melanie is a very attractive woman okay you are very pretty melanie but i don't think um being petite or like having big breasts have anything to do with it um i still think that this is making girls look more realistic i think Bro, I think her body looks more like yours than hers. I'm just saying, this is more realistic of a girl. Dude, look at them side by side. Bro, look at their lips, their jaw. Oh my god, bro. Look at their eyes. Bro, their eyebrows. 
Bro, they look so much alike. What is going on right now? Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, one second. Wait, I'm actually... I actually want to... Okay, sorry. Like, I didn't know my, my stuff was in the middle, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just going to keep it that way. I'm not going to edit it. Bro, look. Bro, look at her lips. Bro, look at her jaw. Okay? Bro, look at look at her eyes. Look at her eyebrows. Bro, they look... Bro, they have, like, the same frame of body and everything, bro. Like, this is a realistic woman. What? Bro, she looks just... Her nose even looks like yours. Oh, my God, bro. What? How do you think they're making them look more masculine? This is ridiculous. Oh my god. This is actually ridiculous, bro. Bro, this is actually so ridiculous. Oh my god, this is like the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard, bro. Even the shoulders. Oh my god, bro. What? I'm trying to compare the hands, too. Even the hands, bro. Dude, come on, bro. You're kidding me right now. Face characteristics all that kind of stuff well in this case we've got a very uh, androgynous masculinized i mean this could be a dude in a wig um uh i guess it could be a dude in a wig i guess it could be it really could be and um so yeah people want to argue me out, like no this has nothing to do with transgenderism this that and the other well i followed up with this because i remember this article i remember when this article first came out like before the last of us two dropped um i said people are mad that i said game devs have been uglifying female characters for the transgender gaze y'all can say right it's because um the overall body frame the overall face characteristics all that kind of stuff well in this case we've got a very uh, androgynous masculinized i mean this could be a dude in a wig it really could be and um so yeah people want to argue with me and i'm like no this has nothing to do with transgenderism this that and the other well i followed up with this because i remember this article i remember when this article first came out like before the last of us two dropped um, I said, people are mad that I said game devs have been uglifying female characters for the transgender gaze. Y'all can stay mad, but I'm not wrong. So here's a little snippet of it. You can find it archived right here, which, um, so what this says, uh, here's a quote from a, well, uh, cited disgruntled employee from Naughty Dog. So uh, at the time of this, so they said from a design standpoint, this is a really challenging problem. I've had many board meetings about how to tackle this. Trans people want realistic representation in our games, but they feel excluded if they are represented as too masculine or too feminine. That's why you will see a lot of designers nerfing the female form, so to speak, so that the difference between trans women and cis, stupid word, and let's face it, women is a little less noticeable. Now, some people... Is that a real article? That's wild. People are trying to act like this is not a valid article because, oh, it's just a disgruntled employee. Well, whenever said disgruntled employee is speaking on things that we are visibly seeing... Okay. Then how can you completely discredit that? We are seeing- New screenshots reveal that all female characters in the last of us have been made to look more... Allegedly to offend... Really? Wait, what website is this? Is this a real website? Is there a link for this? No? Okay. Seeing this demonstrated, what they have said has been demonstrated now let me see i know Wild. some of the pictures aren't showing up but if you see like for example um they yeah they mentioned like like hey yeah they they made okay here we go they're loading up so they made like for example see they deliberately here's who they modeled her after they del uh they look they look exactly alike no They look exactly alike, Deliberately right? made her body more androgynous. Androgynous. Bro, it's like the... Bro, they look exactly the same, bro. What are you it's talking looking about? Than what the model's actual body... Um... Uh... 
she looks maybe a little stronger around here. Bro, her hair is like the exact same. What are you talking about, bro? Oh my god, so, stop, bro. A lot of times they want to pretend are, like, oh, this is all- People are falling for this, man? There's no way, bro. This looks exactly like the model. What are you talking about? Bro, this is why, like, it's unrealistic expectations for women in the, in the gaming space. This is why, like, like, bro, this is why women have such a hard time in life right now, bro. Like, why can't a girl in a game look like this? It'd be more relatable for girls. Whatever, it's, 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 it's whatever, it's whatever, it's whatever. I'm not going to put my two cents in that bucket because I don't know what to do. At the end of the day, I don't know how to fix that subject. So I don't want to comment too much on, like, changing characters in video games to appease girls or trans girls. I don't know how to fix that problem, so I don't want to put my two cents on it. I would be very dismayed if I couldn't have my hot chick main character. So let's carry on. All about just trying to be more realistic. Uh, we can't have girls look like Lara Croft because that's not realistic, right? We. W oh, oh, wait, did she just use herself as a, an example? She just put herself out there for Androgynous that. looking than what the model's actual body is. So a lot of times they want to pretend like, oh, this is all about just trying to be more realistic. Uh, we can't have girls look like Lara Croft because that I feel like it's unrealistic. I mean, Melanie, bro, you're an adorable girl, okay? You're, you're very pretty. At the end of the day, you're gorgeous, okay? Remember that. And I, I would never shame a girl ever in public, but you could be a model. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason you've gone this far. Your looks are definitely part of that reason. But to expect every girl to look like a model or like, like, like Laura Croft, okay? Like to expect every girl to look like you or me is unrealistic. And I'm not trying to toot my own, my own horn here, okay? But I would say body-wise, I do work out quite a bit and I try to stay fit and I try to like, you know, do my makeup and stuff like that. But like, me and you have the fortune to have a lot of extra time on our hands to be fit and to have those situations where like, we can put more time into our body, our skincare routine or our makeup. I don't think it's realistic to expect somebody who's working 40 hours a week that same expectations. This is coming from somebody who's ridden the bus for a long time or the subway and um, worked 70 hours a week, managed all these restaurants and like, had the pleasure of meeting a lot of these people's families as their boss. And I'll be honest with you, most girls don't have that much time on their hands at the end of the day, taking care of their families and being part of like a workplace. I think, um, I don't know, that statement alone, like, <sighs> looks bad on you. That's not realistic, right? We want a more realistic representation. Well, here you have a very real woman with a very real body. Again, I, I feel like, yeah, a real woman, real body. I feel like they look alike, so. And you had to change it. This is not in the name of realism, right? So they, talk, they spoke to a seasoned artist who had worked as a character designer for several AAA games, and he admitted that this is the new norm, and we've seen it demonstrated. People can deny it all they want, but we've seen it demonstrated. They have purposefully been trying to blur the lines between women and men and create these androgynous characters for the tri- Using her as an example, wasn't she a lesbian at the end of Last of Us 2? Um, not that that's an issue or anything, but like, I don't think she looks very manly in this. I'm gonna try to zoom in. Oh man, I feel like they look so much alike. What are you talking about, bro? And can we be honest when I said that, bro, everybody in Last of Us 2 looked like garbage? Can we be honest for that for just a minute, guys? Everybody in Last of Us 2, except for the men, because like, men look like masculine. But I feel like all the characters in Last of Us 2 just didn't look very good. People didn't watch, people don't play Last of Us 2 because like, the complex character design like um by like i mean avatar design people watch it for the story and complex like character like design as in like backgrounds and stuff like that like their story not 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 these transgender gays that is who it's for and it's also to brainwash people into not recognizing the differences this is wild my... okay again like i just want to compare okay Let's compare these faces, okay? 
So, this is an one second. Okay, that's better. All right, nose. Her nose looks more like this one right here. Her nose looks more like this one. I don't think her nose looks more like this one. Maybe um the bottom. No, her nose definitely looks more like this one. Um, eyebrows. Her eyebrows will look more like this one. Um, eyes. Hard to tell with the makeup. I'd say the eyes are pretty much the same. Lips. Uh, lips look more like this one. Okay, and then hair. Hair is about the same. Okay, I take it back. I think her eyebrows look more like this one. Yeah. Okay, now I want to compare me. Um, let me see. Um, uh, my nose. Okay, my nose definitely looks more like this one. <laughs> my jaw. My jaw looks more like this one. Sorry. My nose looks more like this one. My jaw looks more like this one. My eyes. Okay, um, I'll, I think my eyes are about the same anyway. But I don't think you can tell with my eyes. I wear a lot of eyeliner. Eyebrows. Um, I feel like they looked more like this one, too. Okay, well, by her own logic, then... The, okay, so if this one's supposed to be, like, more masculine and more man-looking... By her logic, isn't she a man, then? Isn't she, like, more masculine? Like, look at her jaw. I'm not insulting Melanie again, guys. Like, I think Melanie's a very attractive woman, okay? Um, I don't want you to get... I, I'm not trying to body shame or insult somebody's appearance at all for the record, but I'm saying is like, as far as like bone structure and like literal how you look in the face, more realistic, she looks like this one. I feel like anybody who's arguing she looks more like this one is BSing so hard. I mean, maybe it's just cause she's older. How old is Melanie? She's like 45, right? 45, 48. Okay, yeah, it could just be cause she's older, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how old she is. Um, To force this transgender ideology into society and to try to normalize transgender it ideology it's not normal ideology? and uh yeah no matter how much they want to try to brainwash us with with how they are making the appearance of women in our entertainment and stuff uh, all you got to do is touch some grass in real life life to see that's not the case touch so some grass says, bro I, people are always coming to my stream telling me to touch grass bro i'm gonna keep it a buck with my fellow gamers here if anybody tells you to touch grass just tell them grass is for the sheep bro okay sheep eat grass Deer, cows, they eat grass, bro. You know what I am? I'm a predator, bro. I eat the cows. I eat the sheep. Okay? If you really guys guys, when somebody tells you to eat grass, tell it tell them that's for the for the for the animal, for the bunnies, okay? For the for the for the deer, for the gazelles, okay? Eating grass? Bro, grass, okay? Be a man, okay? Be 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 the alpha, okay? Be 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 your best self. Be the strong woman, okay? Don't let people don't let people tell you don't don't let people tell you to go eat grass, bro. Don't don't live your life according to some other people. Don't, like this person, bro. Like this person goes out and touch grass, bro. bro. Look at her pale skin, bro. She don't go outside, dude. Dude, if somebody tells you to touch grass, bro, tell them it's for the sheep, bro. Okay, that's just for the cows. Take take pride in being a gamer, bro. Fuck all that shit, okay? Be a, be a be a lion, bro. Eat that gazelle, man. Okay, grass is for the sheep. Here, it's not really about the objectification of women, right? So a lot of people act like, hey, that's why they're doing it. They don't want to objectify women. That's not their intent, all right? These people who are pushing this stuff, they draw furry, they draw furry corn, pornography and stuff. They draw all this rule 34 stuff with gay characters all the time, okay? Or even like these fanfics, all this stuff. Uh, all this hyper-sexualized stuff, um, that's their thing, right? Uh, so... It's their thing. I don't like to diss on people's personal beliefs. Like, if it's her beliefs that, like, um, transgender shouldn't be like this, or that transgender shouldn't transition, I feel like that's her belief, that's her opinion, and I feel like people should be entitled to their opinion. I don't want to cancel people for their beliefs. I do think it's, like, um, I do feel like it dis it devalues your opinion though right like if you say that a whole group of people are like this like just like saying like all asian people are like this 
or all Jewish people are like this, then I feel like you are like devaluing your own opinion because you're basically um, having a prejudice at that point. Like if you're saying all transgenders are like that, I mean, I'm a transgender and I'm not like that. So I feel like, I don't know. Um, I don't like to diss on people's beliefs. It's totally okay for her to believe that. I just, I still think that the opinion itself is like, it, it seems to be based off somewhere else. Like the fact that she like really pulled this article out or like really dived into this, like from like, obviously they made the character more realistic for girls, but like to make it about transgenders, I don't know if she's doing it for clickbait or because she has like, I don't know, maybe something like in her past or her personality. I don't know. Maybe she just got the rainbow in her head, bro. Like, I don't have any rainbow flags in my background or trans flags. And when people come into my stream and like, they're like, hello, sir. And they capitalize, sir. And they start to go after me and they start asking me questions and like being insulting because I'm trans. I'm just like, bro, don't get, bro, stop seeing the rainbows in your head, man. Okay. There's no LGBTQ in this room, bro. There's no tra trans flag anywhere, bro. We're playing Fortnite, bro. We're playing games right now, dude. You can either have fun with us and play games. Like, I'm going to keep it a buck with you guys. Like, every time I hold a poll in my stream when there's hundreds of viewers in there, um, 60, 70% of them say that they don't really support LGBTQ or transgenders, but they still come to my stream every day. What does that say to you about, um, people, right? Um, even though they don't support LGBTQ or transgenders, they're totally cool playing a video game with me. I feel like, um, people are still able to focus on the things and the bonds you share. Um, and even though you don't agree with everything 100%, um, doesn't mean you have to, um, like, focus on that. Like, do you agree with your father 100% of the time? Do you agree with everything your father did or everything your mother did? Uh, do you believe, like, your best friend, do you guys agree with everything 100% of the time? I highly doubt it. If people have a couple differences, but you can, like, doesn't mean that you can't be friends or associate with them. The fact that, like, most of my viewership doesn't support lgbtq but still finds a friend in me or coming back to my stream every day to enjoy the content laugh with me and have a good time kind of shows you that um that like this whole thing like i don't know identifying a whole group like that i don't know it's kind of wild to me but that's just my personal belief so i can't really i don't know i don't like to equate beliefs i mean i don't like to diss on people's beliefs but i also don't like to use my beliefs to argue they're not they're not above degeneracy they can't act like oh so we just don't want to objectify women they objectify women all the time in in just their gross and disgusting fashion um objectify women so wait what is objectifying women first of all okay because like um i think like uh i think it's like black widow or black swan black swan i think black swan from honkai star rail is hot as fuck but I don't think that's objectifying women because, okay, so like, let's, let's look at this from Melanie's point of view. Let's see if I'm objectifying women, okay? Um, Melanie said that you shouldn't, okay, Mel, in Melanie's point of view, I'm a man, right? Melanie said in the male gaze, you should not like disassociate the male's gaze. If a male finds a girl hot just because she's a girl, it's okay. So in Melanie's mind, I am not objectifying a girl because I think Black Swan is hot. Okay, cool. So I'm I'm not on this list. Okay, cool, 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 cool. As long as I'm cleared, okay? Because I do not objectify women, okay? I I do not. I would never. So that is definitely not their intention. They don't care about women. They care about... I mean, clearly. Here they are, Um, you know... I feel like transgenders... Okay, bro, wait. I, I feel like transgenders want hot main characters too. What? Bro, wait, wait, wait. Bro, I feel like... Bro, okay, okay, if they... Bro, come on, dude. I feel like... Okay, her logic here is that the trans... Okay, if she's saying that transgenders objectify women because they find women hot and they objectify their appearance, then is, isn't she saying that transgenders want hot main characters too? Hot girl main characters too? So if this is the case, then transgenders want the main characters to be hot. Okay, so, like, what? where's her argument here again? Trying to advocate for men being in women's restrooms putting women's safety men in women's restrooms you know i knew it was the right time to go to the women's restroom when um i remember there's like a couple times okay but like i remember one time i went into the men's restroom like um at, as a transgender you know like you you should probably like you shouldn't just go straight to using the women's restroom as soon as you claim to be a transgender um you should like kind of like I mean, for me, anyway, I, like, use the guys' restroom until, like, I was feminine enough. 
And I remember when I when I knew it was definitely time to go to the world's restroom, I went to the guy's restroom, and the guy was like, a guy came in when I was washing my hands, and he like took a look at me, and he's like, and like I didn't have any makeup on or anything, like I looked I looked, I don't know my normal self, and like he backed out and looked at the door to make sure it was the men's restroom, and then he came back in, looked at me one more time, and then he just left. He just walked away. And I realized, I was like, oh my god. Another time was like, um, when I was outside the girls' restroom and we were waiting in a line. And I went ahead and, um, I didn't want to make, um, other girls uncomfortable because, like, you know, um, I was still along my journey. I definitely looked way more like a girl than a guy. But I didn't want to make anybody uncomfortable. And so, but, like, when the line came and it was like, I've been waiting there the longest. Even though I wasn't in the line, I was, like, staying a part of it. All the girls tried to made sure that I went in there. Like they were like, "Oh, you you were next. Go, go, go." And like, um, none of them took it personally either. Like it didn't seem like it was like a big thing. It seemed like just another girl telling a girl to go to the bathroom. And I don't know. Like, I feel like it comes to a point to where like, I don't know. Like I don't know how I feel about like like the bathroom thing. It just seems so. I don't know. It's out there, bro. I think it's fine, dude. Like for real. Like um. As a trans woman, I've never had a problem with it. Like, pe people are cool going to the bathroom. Like, people go to the bathroom. Like, I'm a trans woman. I go to the bathroom, too. People are cool with it. I don't... I just go do my business and I leave the bathroom. Like, I mean... I feel like it's fine, guys. Like, I really don't think it's that big of a deal. I feel like most people don't make it a big deal. The at risk being in women's restrooms. They don't care about women. So let's... They need to stop pretending that. So anyway, they said that and they said, women like men come in all shapes and sizes to say that having big busty women is unrealistic is untrue. Factual. He added, this is only true for trans people. A trans woman really can't naturally grow article. large breasts and not all trans people can afford implants. If you see a game where the one- Not all trans people can afford implants. You just should get trans healthcare. Like you should just if if you're a trans woman and you're having you're struggling with this, you should just get healthcare. Um, it, they'll help you out a lot. They'll get you along the way. I mean, for me, like I need to get healthcare again so I can get my Adam's apple shaves and my voice surgery. It would be really helpful. Women are a little less curvy. It's not because the game designers are worried about receiving backlash for objectifying women. It's because they are worried about offending the trans community from a design standpoint. Yeah, and this is just what I already read earlier. So this and, and this this article is scrubbed off the internet. You have to look at archives to even view it. Um, so yeah, this is clear. Oh, this has, it's scrubbed I, off the internet? Wait, she didn't link it, though? Oh, she didn't link it, though. Oh. Wait, it probably got scrubbed for false information then, right? That would be the reasonable take. Like, is it, aren't most articles that are taken down taken down because of false information? Like, information's false, so they have to take it down? I feel like that's more likely it, isn't it? Because it's been scrubbed from the internet. That seems pretty ridiculous to me. Like, your first assumption is that it was true? What? So, like, if, if, if an article that said Hitler just came back in a spaceship and is attacking the United States and an alien spaceship just destroyed New York, but then the article is wiped off the internet, are we supposed to believe that? Bro, what are you, a clown, bro? <laughs> what are you, stupid, bro? <laughs> Bro, no way! I mean, you can see it. You see it in the designs themselves. All that, that article- We've been over this! You look more like this person than this person! You look like this person! You look like this person! What are you talking about, bro? Bro, you do not look like this! What are you- what are you talking about? Bro, you have nothing in this face structure in your face. Nothing. Nothing. Even your body does not like like this, bro. Even your waist, you have a slightly curvy waist. You do not look like this person. What are you talking about, bro? It, obviously, they're making it more realistic to a girl because it looks like you. Bro, what is this argument, bro? One second, dude. Do I look like... Bro, I look more like this person than, than you do, Melanie, okay? Bro, I look more like this person than you do, Melanie. Bro, ain't... Dude, what are you talking about? Bro, you... You are, you are a clown, dude. Oh my god, it's such a clown show, man. Dude, you gotta be kidding me right now, man. 
Oh my god, keep- oh my god, It's bro. just validating what we are seeing with our eyes. And that's why when people want to try to deny stuff, they want to- We are seeing with our eyes? Who is we? Bro, there's no way people are, are like- Wait, no, no, please, wait. I'm, I'm actually scared to go to the comment section. Just don't tell me people actually believe this, man. Dude, there's- people are not this stupid, bro. Never apologize for liking attractive characters in video games. Yeah, I agree with that. Whew. Mutilating the arts is part of the demoralization process. Okay, I don't get that. They they want male guy, <laughs> not, not the male gaze. <laughs> okay, interesting. <laughs> they want to make biological woman not like biological woman. They want to make biological woman not like look not look like biological woman. Okay. Um, MJ wasn't created to be just pretty. She was added to the comics to be hot. The jackpot. Yeah, exactly. The disrespects the whole point of the character. Totally agree with that. That's a reasonable point. Main characters in video games are created to be the bombshell a lot of the time. The attractive, the exception. Like, that's totally cool. I agree with this 100%. Good take. Male gaze is normal men attracted to real beautiful women. It's a psyop. I don't know what a psyop is, but I agree with this first part, so I'll like it. Every record has been destroyed or falsified. Every book rewritten. Every picture has been repainted. Every statue, every st every, every street film has been renamed. Every date has been altered. And the process is continuing day by day. Minute by minute, history is stopped. Nothing exists except for an endless prison in which the party is always Right. George Orwell. Us. Oh, it's a deep comment, man. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, this is the same person that buys wild coins, bro. <laughs> this is the same person that thinks the transaction was fixed, man. Oh my god. <laughs> bro, this is the same this is the same person who goes and eats at Wendy's even though they're upping their prices, bro. <laughs> Jesus bro, go get your next mount man. Go buy your next wild mount bro. I don't get how they can possibly claim they're trying to make them look more realistic when the actress is more beautiful and feminine. They are suggesting that real life women aren't realistic. Have they never met a woman in their lives? Okay. Woman on bus. Mostly models. Karen at McDonald's. Images. Okay. Guys. This is what a woman looks like, okay? That's a woman right there, okay? That is a woman. 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 This is a woman. 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 Uh, this is more of a model, though. Woman. 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 Okay, those are those are the typical women that you see every day. Models. These are women that are paid to look beautiful. That is a woman. That's a woman. These women are the exception. They get paid because they are beautiful. They get paid to skip dinner and um, work out and to make sure their body stays in a certain figure. These are models. These are not the same as the other typical girls at a McDonald's. These are not your typical girls on the bus, on the subway. I promise. I ride. I used to ride the bus and the subway all the time. Like, bro, the, this is not your typical girl, bro. This is not your typical girl right here, bro. This is not your typical... Bro. Oh, my God, bro. Bro. Dude. You think this... You think every girl looks like this, bro? Bro, do you think every girl looks like me? Do you think every girl looks like Melanie? I feel like Melanie is, like, an eight an eight or a seven you know like she's pretty cute she's a good looking girl um 
to say every girl looks like her? I want to say every girl looks like Melanie. That's still not average. Um, average girls, guys, they work. Bro, they don't got time for this BS, bro, to like... Bro, are you joking, man? Like, bro, come on, guys, guys. Get real, man. Come on, guys. Get real, bro. Think. Think, guys. Deny stuff with this, that, or the other, whatever the topic. Man, dude, this is coming from the mind of those who eat grass. Man, bro. Got no pro no protein in the brain, bro. No it protein. Maybe. If you are seeing it with your eyes, what are you what are you trying to convince us of the opposite when we see it? Sounds like something Gandalf would say. If you're seeing it with your eyes. Or like Harry Potter. I don't know. This does not look like a woman. This looks like Bro, you look just like this woman. You look nearly identical to this woman. You look 99% like this person, Melanie. Are you joking right now? Melanie, stop, please. Please stop. Like some hybrid thing. Okay, it could- this could be a dude in a wig, or a dude who grew his hair out. This is very much a woman. Um, okay. So, anyway, let's- uh, while we're on the topic of all this Trooney Toon stuff going on here, uh, and, and this is, I push back so hard. People want to be like, oh, why do you have to hate? Why do you come from a place of hate? Look, I'm not going to pretend like this whole transgender ideology is okay. It's not. Mm. First of all, it's demonic. I'm a Christian. So that's, yeah, my Christian belief is that it's demonic. But you see it demonstrate. <clears throat> so again, like, I just want to point out, like, that's her beliefs. I really don't feel like dissing on people's beliefs, guys. Like, if she believes it's demonic, um, then that's totally her beliefs, and I don't think it's right for me or us, like, if you're an LGBTQ member, to insult her for her beliefs. If that's her beliefs, people are entitled to free thought and beliefs. And that's one reason in my stream you guys get mad at me when I don't ban somebody for immediately calling me a man or for being mean. I mean, I go by any pronouns anyway, so I don't really care. But that, that, that is her beliefs. If she wants to go by God's beliefs, then she has every right to. Even though, like, God never wanted you to get a serpent tattoo, I bet, um, of a serpent which represents the devil. I'm sure God doesn't want that, but, I mean, it's totally cool. I'm not gonna go into every hypocr hypocrisy that I see in the back of your room or on your skin. Um, I, I'll, I'll just keep going instead. I'm not gonna insult your beliefs. This is not a part of God's order. It's not. Um, and a lot of... Not every transgender person is going to be um, violent or this, that, or the other. But it's mental unwellness at best, right? It is mental unwellness at best. And it gets far worse than that. Mental unwellness at best. So this is when ideology... Okay, so this is when beliefs cross into the line of trying to teach facts, right? So you have your beliefs that you just stated... And then you're trying to state something as a fact. That it's mental unwellness at best. Very interesting. Um, because I would not consider... Uh, <laughs> mental unwellness at best. I would not consider myself in a mentally good state. But I would say I'm definitely mentally better than most. And I'm in a very lucky situation to where I can be. Because this is the thing about degeneracy. About corruption. About... Okay, degeneracy is another thing though. Like, um... So are you saying... Like, all transgenders are mentally unstable and degenerate. Okay, so this is like when... Like, this is when you're using your beliefs to try and state a fact. Um, degeneracy and unwell. So, I would not say I'm mentally unwell in the common person's eye, right? Like, I would say to most people, I'm a mentally stable person. And then I would say that degeneracy... I don't know. If you look at my Discord and my TikTok streams and my live streams... Um, you would probably know that we have a large children audience. I play Fortnite and other games, and I'm pretty happy with my children audience. I'm pretty happy to have all my audience. And because I acknowledge the kid audience is there, I obviously dress better than I used to while streaming on, like, say, for instance, on Twitch. And I definitely conduct myself in a very adult way. Um, I dress properly. And I really don't let myself slip from that point of view, right? Like, I, ma I make sure to always conduct myself as a grown-up on my streams. Rarely cuss, unless uh, I'm streaming just on my Twitch. And I rarely go off or try to preach my own ideas about transgender ideology. In fact, if you go on my videos, I don't even use the trans or LGBTQ hashtags. 
because I don't want to, um, it's not the audience I want to target. Like, if I really want to make a change or to present myself in front of other people to make transgenders more accepted, I feel like um, accepting them is the first thing, like accepting their beliefs, and um, that's the first step. And so I'm happy to have all those people in my stream. And uh, whenever somebody tries to approach me about, like, advice on how to transition, I usually tell them to talk to their parents is the first thing I say. And um, if they say that they feel like they can't talk to their parents then um, and they're a minor, then I tell them to talk to their student council next. If they're an adult, then I might give them some advice on how to go about things. But yeah, usually for kids, like, that's what I do. And would those things be considered more, more morally degenerate? I really wouldn't think so. I feel like um, uh, I feel like I handle things in a pretty good way. I don't want to influence people or children to walk a certain way. I feel like that's more for their parents to decide or for their family and for their own path. And again, like if they really felt cornered, they could go to their student counselor or something like that. Um, I'm not um, somebody who should be teaching those things because I'm. I mean, let's face it, guys. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I'm a human like anybody else. Humans make mistakes, and I'm not above those. Who am I to give advice to other people? Mm, I don't think I'm anybody too special. Um, at the same time, I don't think it's right for, like, to state a fact on a group of people, right? Like, uh, when Christians come into my stream and judge me right away or try to throw me under the bus, I think that, like, my first thoughts are immediately to ask them questions and to get to know them better. And... That's because usually people are coming from a place of misunderstanding. Uh, I think that if I looked at every Christian and um, I use Melanie here as the benchmark and I say every Christian acts like Melanie, um, a very hateful, bigoty, spiteful person, then I think that people would probably hate me um, for saying that. And it's not, I'm sure a lot of people would like me, like LGBTQ people would probably, woke people, whatever, like, would probably hop on my bus for that and be like grateful for me saying that. Um, but I don't believe that. I think that everybody's entitled to their beliefs and free opinions. Free thought is what moves the, the world forward. And um, those Christians that often come to my streams with the perspective of Melanie here usually come into the stream pretty hateful. Um, but after they ask a couple questions or after I talk to them and get to know them or after watching the content for a little bit, usually these people turn into followers, viewers, long-term members, donators, gifters, supporters. I think it's not unreasonable at all to, it's okay to acknowledge that there's some bad in a group of people, like, maybe, but um, I think it's also important to realize that um, a lot of groups of people have more bonds that you share than differences. Um, most people that you see online, and I know that you probably don't want to hear this, even this person right here or this person right here, you probably have more in common than you think, and I bet I have more in common with Melanie then she carries a belief as well. Sin is that when you dabble in sin, sin doesn't stop. Sin and corruption doesn't just stay content and stop. It doesn't stay stagnant. It continues to corrupt worse. Um. Okay, so like, I, I do want to say that like, when you do let up that line, like, um, it's easy to say that, but like, um, I want to go back to the point of view. Okay, so, like, this is where, like, Melanie gets on my mind for clicks, right? Like, I don't want to diss on her beliefs, and I'm ne never going to do that. I don't diss on people's beliefs. I do want to ask some questions, though. If Melanie really does believe in God and thinks that she nev she should never cross the lines of God, then I really want to know, why do you have a serpent tattoo on your arm? Why do you have a half-naked girl in the background? Why do you have all these um, animes and stuff like this? Like, um, okay, uh, I'm just saying this from my point of view. I believe in Christianity. Um, I, I'm not a Christian yet. Uh, I'm not, I don't want to claim that because Christianity is a higher title. Um, when I think of a Christian, I think of people like Gide Gideon or Windagoon, these people who pour lots of time into their Christianity and are able to maintain being content creators at the same time. Gideon had to give up so much to become a Christian and to walk that path. If I were to become a full-fledged Christian, I would have uncompromising... I wouldn't compromise. The first thing I would do is find the most original scripture I could and try to uphold those ideas for God's sake. And I think that is my perspective of a Christian and not crossing those lines and not crossing those morals are something that I believe. I'm not a Christian right now because I haven't dedicated enough time to that. Being a Christian isn't something you claim just because you believe in the Bible or just because you believe in Jesus, even though some religions say that, I mean, I guess I guess you could do that. Um, but in my mind, in my mind, becoming a Christian means dedicating yourself to becoming a better person 
And when I think of a Christian, when I think about the people who uphold Christianity and their ideals and are able to maintain creators on a platform, um, you can tell that they work really hard at it. And so to say that you're a Christian and that you have that uncompromising line and those morals, uh, again, I don't want to hurt your beliefs. If those are your beliefs, it's fine. But I would like to know, why why, why do you have a servant identity? Why do you make compromises in all these other places, but this is where you draw the line? Like, what about the li- the other lines that you already, like, compromised on? The, the lines that you backed off on? Like, I come from Missouri. Redneck. I'm not the smartest, sharpest tool in the shed. Pretty proud. Ignorant. Arrogant. And I would say that, um my beliefs even though i don't i'm not a christian now i'm probably further from a christian than i've ever been in my life um when i was raised as a christian those morals from the bible they're in my heart to this day and i walk that line like becoming a finer person every day being like abraham lincoln said whatever you are be the best you can be upright righteous character morals being able to look back on everything and be proud of it those are the things that I consider, like, the some of the core fundamentals of being, in, like, involved in the Bible. And those are the beliefs that I decided to take with me, as well as many others from the Bible. Beliefs like that, the Golden Rule, the Ten Commandments, the stories, above all else, learning from those, those are the things that make up my core fundamental morals. Um, even if I'm not a Christian any, at the moment. Um... So it's hard for me to believe that if you rock those same morals, like if you rock the same, I don't know how you were raised, but if your beliefs and your, your, your like faith in the Bible is as strong as mine once was, why did you back off on the lines that you like, that you say are, you're not supposed to compromise on? Don't you think it's a little hypocritical? Um, I'm not dissing on your beliefs. Just asking a question. Feel free to answer me and worse until it destroys the host and so when somebody is dabbling with something like this whole transgender ideology they will only corrupt themselves worse and worse and worse if they don't snap out of it uh, and, and if they don't get delivered snap out of it so like what is worse and worse and worse because like um i don't know i feel like i ended up pretty good i feel like a lot of people ended up pretty good um, I feel like picking on somebody or calling somebody out like this, right, and calling them out saying that um, you'll end up like this, um, this is obviously somebody that um, probably started their trans or, or, like journey pretty recently, or maybe even somebody who um, isn't as fortunate as me or other transgenders to be able to go through the full process. Um, I'm, it, it's kind of like unfortunate that these influencers go out of their way to find people like this down on their luck or not as fortunate and use them as an example for transgenders when most transgenders are pretty reasonable people that you can talk to like me and other influencers. It's just like, it's kind of wild to me that you like, Melanie, that you attack these trans influencers that only have 757 followers. Is that really an influencer in your mind? Maybe it's a creator that's trying to become an influencer. I don't even consider myself an influencer. And I mean, I feel like I have a huge amount of support from my community. And used to corrupt worse and worse until it destroys the host. And so when somebody is dabbling with something like this whole transgender ideology, they will only corrupt themselves worse and worse and worse if they don't snap out of it. Uh, and, and if they don't get delivered from it. Uh, and this is what you see with pornography. I'm curious what delivered means. In general, and why some people don't like it. Some people don't like it that I push against pornography. Uh, but that I say it rots people's brains. It does. People act like, oh, everything in moderation. That's like saying drinking poison in moderation. You cannot watch pornography in a healthy fashion. Right, it affects- uh, That's interesting too, so like, are you okay with like, big, presumptuous, like, main character, girl characters in video games, but they can't jack off to them? So they just have to be, like, they just have to find that attractive, and that's it? X people negatively in mm. a number of ways. One of those ways is turning people into this, okay? I truly believe that if pornography- I just feel like- was- like, um, so wait, no, she's blaming pornography on this person or hormones? 
Like, hormones change me into this, okay? Um, and we were over those photos earlier, okay? So, like, in Melanie's mind, I'm more feminine than her. So, I'm just saying, okay? And, and, th and those photos. And then, like, for this, for this, um, like, th this, like, corn did this or hormones? Because, like, hormones did this, okay? Corn didn't do this either, okay? Corn didn't... I don't think Corn did that either. I mean, there's no proof... I don't, I don't see anything that implies to me that Corn did that, okay? Maybe... Maybe there's something there. I don't know. Wasn't it so accessible and readily available, we wouldn't have people like this trying to walk in... So you're saying people who look like Corn are this? You think people that look like... So you think people that look at Corn are this? You think that... Okay, bro, come on, man. Melanie. Stop, bro. You think people that look at corn look like this? What are you stupid? What are you dumb? Bro, stop, bro. Are you are you stupid, bro? You're brain dead, bro. Dude, you need to stop eating grass. Go eat go eat a steak, bro. Okay? Protein's better for your brain, I promise. Dude, are you for real right now? Bro, corn I don't think corn did this, bro. I don't know. What? What are you talking about? Bro, this is so hard to understand. What? Bro, where's your reasoning? Oh my god, corn caused this person to transition. Oh my god, this character was changed because of transgenders, not real girls. Oh. <laughs> what is- Where's your logic coming from, dude? Dude, it's so wild to me. C carry on. ...into women's restrooms. Now, why I'm even sharing this in the first place, because I'm not a fan of just trashing on people personally but this is somebody who uh was you're in not a fan of trashing on people oh melanie come on melanie I, I saw your twitter what is this post melanie what is this trans representation too accurate <laughs> that is terrible that is evil that's diabolical don't like trashing on people though right yeah, yeah, yeah i get it all facts around here all facts all facts, all facts. Man's face. Bro, you think that's a man's face? No way, you're kidding. They hate her? Bro, what? What are you talking about? Oh my god, dude. I've got to start reacting to more of this, bro. I feel like this is free content. Okay, let's carry on. My DM request, and I felt that this needed to be shared. We need to to air this stuff out when it does happen, and we need to call this stuff out when it does happen. I said, dudes like this are in my DM request telling me to unalive myself, but I'm called the bigot for not accepting them as women. These creeps are also infiltrating female bathrooms, putting women and children at risk. This is what feminism should be fighting against, not the patriarchy, right? And so here you have, which... They did private their account, this dude did, uh, after, <laughs> after I shared this. But yeah, he sent me a DM request on Instagram saying, hope you on alive yourself. I don't know, is she mad about this? Um, she upset about this? 174k subscribers. I think she has like 200k followers on Twitter. Um, Melanie, listen, if this is... If you're mad about this, like, death, like, if you're mad about a message like this, trust me, dude, it's only gonna get worse, bro. I only have 160k on my, on my TikTok, and let me tell you right now, bro, um, I have thousands of messages of threats, um, unalive messages, um, terrible things, like, mass amounts of them. If you think this, if you think this is bad, like, Melanie, I'm telling you, it only gets worse, bro, like, you gotta calm down, stop overthinking things, bro. Like, if this is bad to you, bro, like, trust, maybe you should quit, bro. Okay, maybe you're getting too old for this, okay? Like, I would, I don't know, you might consider moving on on this one, bro. Like, if this is, if this is really gonna bother you, bro, like, I don't know, man. Like, you really need to consider, like, please stop letting this stuff bother you, bro. Man, dude, the mind of those who eat grass, bro. What a pussy. And this is what he looks like. Now, can we just take a step back for a moment and realize how this is like, here is a man wishing harm on a woman. This is a man wishing vi- <laughs> This is a man wishing harm upon a woman? <laughs> All men are supposed to be simps, okay? I can't believe this, bro. All men have to be simps for women. Woman, 
Women are superior creatures. <laughs> Very here's a man. A man looking down on a woman. Oh my God. Violence on a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Let's speak on it for what it is. And these men, <clears throat> these men are so mad that they can't be us. They never can, no matter what they do. I mean, we went over the pictures earlier, Melody. Or Melanie, sorry. We went over the pictures earlier, Melanie, um, and uh, I think we agreed that I looked more girly in those pictures than you did. So, um, I don't know. Sucks to suck. I mean, those are face features, so like, I don't know, you could say that my face surgery helped me, but, oh wait, I haven't had any face surgery. This is just how I naturally look. So... Like, he's got Joker makeup on here. Like, here's the thing. Is Joker someone makeup. like this, he can grow the hair out, wear a wig, put on makeup, all that stuff. Where are the dresses? And he still looks like a man. Someone like myself, an actual woman, I could take off all my makeup. I could wear boy clothes. And everybody would still know I'm a woman. So, dude, you can never be me. And it makes you so Mad. Is that what it is? Like, you you don't think they can be them? Is that it? Is it personal? Or it sounds personal. You are so mad. This sounds taunting. Look at this smile right there. This smile looks taunting. Melanie. Melanie. Bro, okay, look, dude. You're, you're really pretty, Melanie. Okay, I want you to, like, I'm not trying to body shame you. Okay, I would never do that. But you just said a second ago that you don't like to pick on, like, smaller creators and stuff. You're literally bullying this person, calling them hideous, okay? You're calling them an abomination. Like, you, you're such a hypocrite for that, for real. But, um, Melanie, you're not that pretty. Like, you're like a seven or an eight, bro, okay? Like, you are pretty. You are a pretty girl, okay? But, like, stop, stop, stop pretending like you are so much better. Like, are you jealous? Is that it? You're jealous that like, trans girls can look as good as you, so you have to, like, point out the ones that don't and make fun of them? Is that where it's coming from? Like, insecurity? Bro, like, is this the mind of somebody who eats grass? Bro, you just need to man up. Eat some protein, bro. Stop, stop letting this stuff bother you, bro. Stop looking at these other, like... Do you look at people like me and get angry? That you can't, like, pull me up right there and, like... And, like, be all like, oh, my God, bro. She she wishes she was as pretty as me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She wishes, she wishes she was as pretty as me. Oh, my God. No. I can't believe it. Oh, my God. I, w I just want to be as pretty as her. Oh, my God. Melanie, come on now, dude. Come on, dude. Grow up, please. I feel like, um, I feel like what's gonna come next is, like, I know that, like, people are gonna get mad at that. I know people are just gonna go, like, find old photos or old videos now. Um, I'm sure they'll find it, too. But it is what it is. Nothing changes that I look prettier now. That you would wish violence on me. And that's what's happening. Why do you why do you why do you think that's such a crime, bro? Stop being such a pussy. Dude, you are such a pussy, bro. Dude, I could open my TikTok DMs right now and there are so many threats and murder threats. Bro, my Twitter, my my TikTok, everywhere, every DM, everywhere, everywhere, every DM there's there's haters and harassment. Bro, like you, you what are you talking about? Are you stupid? Bro, you are brain dead. Dude, don't tell me that bro, you got to have other mail than that. Don't you really let this one message bother you? Bro, you are such a pussy. With a lot of this, this, I, I just, it, a lot of these dudes hate women. They hate women. And we're at a part of- I love women, by the way. I love men and women, but I definitely love women, okay? Women are, women are very good. I like women quite a bit. A place in society where misogyny is actually rampant. I'm not all about this whole, like, manufacturing racism, sexism, this, that, or the other. But misogyny is rampant right now, and it's not from the straight men. It's not coming from the straight men. They want to act like, oh. Misogyny is not coming from straight men? Bro, have you been on kick recently, dude? Are you joking me? Bro, are you stupid? Oh my god, you 
You are so stupid. I cannot believe this, bro. <laughs> what? Bro, are you saying Andrew Tate? Andrew Tate is not straight, bro? What are you talking about? Bro, you are so stupid, bro. You are brain dead. Oh my god, bro. It's not coming from straight men at all. Not at all. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, oh, carry on. the patriarchy, the straight men are the problem. They're not- Bro, have you seen the streamers on Honkai Star Rail? Problem. The problem are these transgender dudes and even gay men because nobody hates women as much as they do. They're the ones who are catty and try to want to control you. They're the ones who get so mad when you don't affirm them. Notice how these gay- I mean, I go by any pronouns because I like for people like Melanie here to be more comfortable around me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, obviously I'd probably prefer she, her pronouns, but I really go by any. Like, I don't mind being called sir. It's cool. It is what it is. Like, I mean, like, I don't want to push people's beliefs. The way I see it, people end up calling me she, her pronouns, uh, regardless. Like, even if I tell them they call me whatever they want, like, they always do it. Even if they do it on accident, they call me she, her pronouns. Like, it would be easier for them to call me she, her pronouns, but they don't want to admit it. I had this one guy, and when I worked at Chili's, um, and he didn't want to call me my pronouns. And I said, it's, it's cool, just call me my name then, you know? Like, I respect your beliefs. You, you, those are your beliefs. I do not want to compromise your beliefs. Just because I want to go by those pronouns. And I cared about pronouns a little bit back then. And so, um, after like a week or two, I was like the bartender. And after like a week or two, he started calling me she, her pronouns. I'm like, why, why did you change your mind? And he said, well, after like working with you, it was just easier. You're just like, you're just a normal girl. And like, I feel like, I don't know. I feel, oh, uh, it's whatever. Sorry, I guess I was off subject. I just feel like. I don't know. At some point, it becomes easier just to just to use the pronouns. That I don't know. Gay men, they will say all this stuff about women left and right, and like it's their whole personality. They try to impersonate us, and hey, I say the F slur, and oh my gosh, they wish me, they wish for me to die. Huh? That's funny. I can't even. Man, dude, at least at least you like said a slur to do it like i mean i i just say hey welcome to the stream guys and like really bubbly and nice and i get threats all the time so say the f slur but meanwhile they're saying what they're saying slurs against women which i don't even i don't give a crap about slurs what are, for the record what are but slurs just, against women what does that speaking, consist of i'm saying this to like i, I feel like I, I know some hurtful words for women and i've been called all those what are slurs for a woman? Show their hypocrisy. They will say slurs against women like it's their entire personality. But I say the F slur, the bundle of sticks word, and it's like, oh, they want me dead. I like how you said they, but you brought up one DM. Like one DM you really had to fish for. Like you had to retweet them, post them, and probably like get them a whole amount of, like you had to like harass them to the point of where they, they made their account private to finally get one threat like imagine having to go through that much work to get one threat bro meanwhile i'm over here pulling death threats left and right for free just like living rent free in people's minds all day for free just streaming on my phone just streaming on a little tiki or on my twitch stream and i get all these death threats for free man dude Me melanie i'm so sorry that you only got one death threat i'm so sorry that you had to work that hard to get that much attention from somebody honestly man dude don't worry, Melanie. You'll get there someday. Someday, you'll be like me with dozens of death threats from other people, okay? I believe in you, Melanie. You got this. Keep pushing forward, bro. You got this, bro. Keep going, big bro. Yeah. And here we have, I wanted to share this tweet as bro, well. Bro, we're getting so off topic from video games, bro. I thought we were going to go back to the video game stuff, bro. What, what are we talking about also, now? this is where somebody took a picture in the women's restroom and said uh, where a dude, where a man walked in the women's restroom and wrote this on the wall, a trans person peed here and you survived smiley face with a trans flag sticker. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> okay, that is cringe as fuck. Bro, that's so weird. Oh my god, who put that there, bro? Oh my god, bro. I have to... I can't believe this is real, bro. Somebody staged this. Somebody staged this, bro. 
Somebody, somebody staged this. I refuse to believe this is real. Oh my god. Somebody actually put this here, bro. Please, bro. It's staged, bro. It has and to be staged. And I wrote this based off my assessment on the situation. I said this reads like a pervert who is disappointed that he was in the women's bathroom alone. So he had to leave evidence because making women feel unsafe and uncomfortable was his goal. Oh. Uh, and, and yeah, that's exactly the case. That's what's going on here. Because if somebody, oh, I just need to pee. Notice how they always say, I'm just trying to pee, Karen. I'm just trying to pee. It ain't that deep. It ain't that big of a deal. If that's all it was, then they wouldn't be doing this. These dudes would not be doing this. They get a rise out of it. Again, how like, you're clarifying, like, a group of people, right? Like, why are you saying that? Like, one person sends you a death threat, and you say, they send me death threats. But, like, one person sent you a death, like... So one, it wasn't a threat. Somebody told you to go in, like, unalive, okay? One person did. And you had to really work for it with, like, posting about them, getting them, like, hated on. And, like, you really had to work for that one go unalive, okay? I'm over here getting, like, hundreds of those for free, bro. And But you're saying they do it. So, like, why do you only pull up one? Like, that's such that's such a clown show, bro. Stop being a clown, bro. Okay, stop, stop, stop pulling a clown, bro. I don't want you dead, bro. I think you're cool, okay, Melanie? I think that maybe a little confused or maybe you're just trying to get clicks and likes and stuff i think you're an all right person you seem like a decent human being to me i'm sure if we had a conversation we'd probably get along i like charismatic people you have a lot of charisma the way you talk um but it's hard to tell if you're talking for clicks or because you actually believe these things um i only say that because like your morals seem to be misplaced and like you keep like i don't know like you're not misspeaking you're you're like deliberately misleading people like saying they did this or they told you to off yourself um like they 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 like that's deliberately misleading people like i feel like um people with a moral compass don't do that like i'm not saying man they they are so bad for this or they are so unsmart or unintelligent for this because i'm not i'm not making fun of a group of people for being like christians or conservatives i think christian christianity and being a conservative i mean it's cool um i like christianity i think it's awesome um but I don't say they like that. Like, I say you, right? I, I say that this is coming from a place of hypocrisy or um, clicks for you. Or you're deliberately misleading people. You. Not not everybody else. You are. You are, Melanie. Whether deliberately or not. And it creates, like, it creates a pretty bad riff for people. Which I'll get into in a second. How many people, and I, if you guys have not stumbled on these pictures, good for you. But <laughs> I'm glad because I wish I didn't have to see them. These... Troons will go into a women's bathroom and post a selfie while they have a b boner in while they're in the women's restroom because most of these I would venture pretty hard to take a piss with a boner. Don't know if you knew that. I'm sure to say 99%, if not more, of these men pretending to be women and calling themselves transgender, these men who call themselves women are perverts. It is rooted in a lot of the times pornography that gets them to this point it is a why do you say that like rooted in pornography makes them transition it's so it's so it's such an odd line of logic do you think that corn got me to where i am right now i started transitioning pretty early on in life i feel like corn didn't play a part it's so i don't know hmm. the fetish it is demonic it is unnatural it is against god's order and like i said it's corruption completely taking over the host so whatever it started it just spiraled down now a lot of people also do it for attention as well because they're not getting attention in other um areas or they're they um so like when it comes to attention and stuff i can totally see it being a thing that like young minds can be influenced um it's one of the reasons why i said earlier that i go out of my way to push young minds um to talk to their parents or student console. And I don't really like to give people advice on these whole subjects. Um, I feel bad, right, for um, a lot of these people out here. Cause like, um, people like um, Nick Mertz. Cause like, um, Nick had to, I mean, I'll make a whole video about it soon, but Nick really got um, attacked for expressing his opinion at the end of the day. Um, uh, but he got bananaed um or punished because he was influencing young minds i feel like i don't know that's my opinion i'll probably make a video about that next um diving more into that subject 
But I really don't think that, like, us adults who have these, like, wild opinions, you really should keep them to yourself. Like, um, I think at the end of the day, parents can decide for themselves. Um, like, these riots, because adults are going to these riots and, like, people are feeding into this. Um, at the end of the day, like, people can make their own decisions, I feel like. Um, I don't think it's right for people like me or Melanie here to push beliefs on the children. I think that's up to the parents um, at the end of the day. My opinion. They, they want to be able to, I don't know, whatever it may be. A lot of them is from this narcissistic place of attention. But I do think that uh, that most of it is degeneracy. Most of it is perversion with some outliers. Some actually do have mental health problems and they need help for it. And giving them medications and pills uh, that are hurting their bodies by pumping unnatural hormones into them is not the answer. All right, it would be the answer in this case would would be to help people love the body that they were born in and to accept their gender because they cannot change it. Nothing they will ever do will change it. So yeah, <sighs> where I'm the bad guy because I don't want people like this in my restrooms. Again, so like you just bring up like you just bring up like a random photo here like um of this person that you like attacked and got mad at because they sent you a threat when you harassed them. Okay, you're very twisting the words here. Um, and because of that, like you think all transgenders shouldn't go in restrooms. You could bring up a photo of somebody like me and say, oh my God, I don't think she should go into the restroom. Um, but you brought up purposely a picture of somebody who was um, down on their luck or just started their transition. And um, I don't know. Deliberate misinformation again, I feel like. Like, you really feed into this role. Um, I feel like, um, you know, it's it's it sucks, right? Because, like, at the end of the day, like, the people who follow you, Melanie, and, like, me too, um, I think that we can probably uh, agree on more things than you think. Uh, I really think that most people have more things that they have in common than differences. And to see that you, um, like, deliberately misinforming people... It really shows your true character, like not your beliefs. Um, if you, again, I don't want to diss on people's beliefs; it's totally fine. Um, but it shows your character, the way you mislead people, the way you word things, um, purposely. It's, um, I don't know. I don't like to attack people for their beliefs, but these things are character flaws, and they really show your true character. It's very poor. In in women's restrooms, right? Uh, where women and children are taking their clothes off. We're at this, th this is where we're at in society. Do children not take off their clothes in front of dads? Wait, 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 women take off their clothes in the women's restroom? Don't they have like a stall they go into by themselves? I don't understand. What's the problem here? Sus. Society that even to say that is a controversial thing. That I get called a bad guy for saying that. Um, and I think that kind of sucks. Like, I don't think society should shun people for their opinions. I think, like, even if her opinion is, like, in my mind, wrong. Like, e even if her opinion is, like, based on misinformation. I still think that people, like, all people have a right to, like, say what's on their mind. It really does suck that this is the world we live in to where, like, it's the age of hiding information. And, like, it does kind of suck. For real. I totally get it. But it's the world we live in. Advertisers control the media and advertisers are controlled by people. People want to follow their, their rebuttals or a lot of times are just like, well, why aren't you speaking out about against women in men's bathrooms? Why is it only men in women's bathrooms? Which, hey, I think, I think these women pretending to be men shouldn't be in men's bathrooms either. But let's not pretend like there isn't a difference still. Men are stronger than women. So no freaking. Um, okay. So this is going to be kind of deep. Um, as somebody who's been assaulted, I can tell you right now, not, yeah, men, some men might be stronger than women, okay? Um, most men even, some men are not stronger than women. And some transgenders, when their muscles start to, um, unless they're an Olympic, um, Olympian, um, most transgenders don't work out their upper body to give them a more feminine appearance like mine. And I can tell you right now, um, let's just say 
that I can't overpower most women. And duh, women and children, our safety is at risk when these men in, in lipstick are in our restrooms. But again, I'm not saying that women who pretend to be men should be in men's restrooms either. They shouldn't. But there is, when you actually look at the data, all that kind of stuff, first of all, there are far more men pretending to be women than women pretending to be men. And the actual motivations within those um, tend to be statistically uh, driven by different uh, d different, yeah, different motivators, right? So a lot of these, most of the men who pretend to be women, it is out of this perversion, right? Um, because whenever I, I saw this one girl made a post on Twitter and she was in two different transgender groups on Facebook and the transgender group that she was in male to female was almost all just scantily clad pictures that they're posting. Do I pass? Am I sexy? Am I hot? And just sexualized. I don't know, dude. Like, um, I don't really associate much with, like, woke culture. I don't think I have very many trans friends or LGBTQ friends, um, to be honest. Like, I have a lot of viewers that I support and I'm there for. It's hard for me to say how, like, groups of people act. Um, I would say that it's easy to find bad apples in a barrel of apples um if you look hard enough and i feel like if you look at anything hard enough you'll find bad apples of all kinds like when people in my stream start saying that they hate christians and christianity or they hate white people um i really shun that because i don't think it's right to dismiss people off a couple bad apples and i think that you should never do that for other people like um that's my belief though and so i don't like to use my beliefs to argue with people um, I would think it's a logical thing, but that is just my belief. Perverted pictures. And then whenever she looked in the female to male transgender groups, it was all, you know, talking about their traumas. It was all talking about this, that, or the other. And it wasn't uh, fueled by that. Um, not that I think either are okay. Uh, you know, this whole... Also, which right now, the whole... Ellen Page stuff is trending right now as well. Let me see if I'm I go to the bathroom. like. I don't think I liked. I, was, I thought I liked the tweet about it, but anyway, I digress. I'm getting off topic here. But anyway, when it comes to like, they need help too. But you find that um, a lot of the the women who tried to be men, it, it's usually rooted in they were that they've got a ton of trauma they were abused they don't want to be seen as attractive anymore because of the abuse that they went through so on and so forth but either way both are a mental issue um perversion running rampant all of that stuff but these people we we can't be validating this we can't it's harmful to society and it's harmful to the people that are being validated. So I'm called the hater because I don't validate this, but they're being hurt by being validated into this stuff. I'm not being hurt. I'm okay. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. Um, the journey is what hurts. Uh, you know, transitioning and the journey, that's the hard part. That's what hurts. Um, and it hurts because people uh, really give you a hard time and it's hard to be accepted yeah, I would say that the, the journey hurts a lot more than uh, the end. Uh, I'm pretty happy now, but um, I would say the a couple years ago, it wouldn't I wouldn't have been as happy. But I still would have been happier than I was before transitioning. And I bet if you ask these people, these people who you claim to be mentally unwell, if they're happier now than before, and see how many of them say yes. And I bet most of them would. Because most of them are happy with the way things are, even if people don't accept them and even if people hate them like people like they believe that they're happy and just like i don't on your beliefs um well i guess i don't want to force my beliefs on other people um but i don't think it's right for somebody who does things and often points at their beliefs to say why they do things to point at somebody else with their own beliefs and say 
it's wrong. And that's what I think. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, this has all seeped into the gaming industry as well, the entertainment industry. And we constantly see the male gaze demonized when it's like God created men to be attracted to women. It's okay for men to be attracted to women. <laughs> That is a normal function of God's design. Uh, so anyway, there you have it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you want to dive more into this kind of topic. Excuse me, about to burp. <laughs> and uh, learn more of my perspectives on woke ideology and how it is rooted in uh, satan and Satanism and how it's demonic. Uh, I do have a video I made about a year and a half ago called Woke Ideology is Satanic. If you search that, uh, you can find I made an entire PowerPoint about it, all that kind of stuff. I was just thinking today about how I might want to redo that and update it. So let me know in the comments if that's something that you guys would like to see. But anyway, thank you all again. Uh, don't forget, you can catch me on my Bible channel at Bible Time with Melanie Mac, as well as my streams uh, at Melanie Mac here on YouTube Kick and Twitch, which I will be streaming Wednesday, probably not Thursday, because I do need to watch the Ghostbusters movie since I will be on Friday Night Tights this week. And that's what we're going to be talking about. So they really let it back on Twitch. That's cool. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Melanie seems like somebody who has their own beliefs. And then, like, I think... Uh, I don't think that... Uh, I don't know, like, it's hard to like somebody who's, like, misinformation, like, um, who farms that. But I feel like it's just a farm for content to get those clicks, you know? Like, she just wants those clicks. Like, she wants those, like, hate baiters and stuff. Um, it's interesting hearing her perspective on this. Um, it's a shame, for real. Like, uh, um, I wonder if Melanie actually believes, like, all this stuff. Like, um, and, like, when she preaches stuff like this, like, they, like, when she uses that term, like, it's such a small thing. But when you use words like they, when you say they are in the bathrooms because they want to do this to people, or when you say they're not people, or you call them an it, or you objectify them, just remember, like, Melanie, you have power. You are a creator. You have thousands of people watch your videos. When you call somebody like that, or degrade them like that, and you call a whole group that, it leads to a lot of trouble. As somebody who's kept my head down most of my life before becoming a streamer, and worked a lot, a lot, 70 and 80 hours a week, and worked most of my life away, I can tell you right now that, like, the people who wouldn't leave me alone are the people who, um, grouped me as them, as you would. And because I was one of them, I got assaulted, beat, sexually assaulted, harassed, graped by men or women. Not multiple, but... I hope you know that when you say something like that, and those small tidbits of misinformation... Those are the things that hurt people. And even though I didn't go hard on your beliefs, because everybody's entitled to them, I hope you take a second look at yourself, Melanie. For real. Like, um, when you deliberately mislead people, it's pretty disgusting. Um, and it brings a lot of shame to, um, to your group of people. Like Christians. Um, you're a bad example when you do stuff like that. Um, as somebody who looks up to Christianity and uh, often sometimes quotes the Bible, and during the hardest moments of my life I turn to God, it's really a shame to uh, see the representative that so many Christians believe in is you. Just remember your words have power, you affect people, and even though I didn't um, complain about your beliefs, I hope you take a good look at yourself and ask if yourself if at what you're doing is right and at the end of it all, will you be happy? Will you be happy with that smirk you held when talking about that man in lipstick and like how he'll never be like you? Do you feel good about that now with that satisfied smile? Do you feel good? Do you think you'll feel good about that later? Like at the end of it all, when you're even older than you are now, do you think you're going to feel good about what you said there? Um, this is a <clears throat> Karma Quinn Barnes, Karma Kate's Dien, coming out. Uh, Melanie Mac, Go Boom, that's her channel if you guys want to go check it out. And I'm going to go and hopefully work on a video about Nick Merckx now and uh, like to dive deeper into that.
Um, if you guys like this kind of content, make sure you guys leave a like and a comment. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys got to say. If any of you guys are coming from Melanie Max uh, Twitter or stream, um, I really don't respond to DMs at all. Um, again, just full of threats and stuff like that. So if you do want to get my attention or my opinion on something or have a conversation with me, just go to the comments below and I'll make sure to answer every single one. Push.